out here I manage roughly 200 head of cattle on 400 acres. My main focus is cows, keeping them healthy. So, starting my day with my thoughts going on to paper. Um, without, without this right here, um, the whole day is likely to be way more of a challenge. Uh, this is actually the way I think about a lot of things out here and it allows me to use my creativity and be able to um, envision things that necessarily aren't there right now. I would say one of the biggest challenges with cattle is building trust. They're constantly skeptical. So you could look at it from the perspective of, I have all these employees out here, like roughly 200 of them, and they look and they, they're constantly looking at me and how do, I, how do I carry myself? Once they realize that they're being pushed to do something they don't want to do, you get 200% resistance. But if everything's voluntary and they're accustomed to something they associate obviously with a reward, it makes life much easier. You know, I do take pride in what I do, and that's because I, I feel responsible for everything that goes on out here. I'm trying to cover a wide range of things, um, just myself, and that's impossible um, without having a relationship with God, because the minute that I, that I try and think that I'm in control, that's when the sense of being overwhelmed comes upon me extremely quickly. Left side. Highway, let's roll. It doesn't take long for me to get head over heels out here, thinking that I can do way more than I'm capable of. I encounter something that I struggle to overcome and I try and do the first thing, which is conquer it myself. That doesn't work. Sometimes I can be stubborn to simply accept the fact that I don't know how to do something and reach out to someone who does. So each day, each morning I wake up and uh, I have a devotional that I do. You know, it contains anywhere from seven to eight scripture passages, um, followed by a summary of, you know, how that ties into our daily life. And when I start my day like that, that's at the forefront of my mind. I have to, I absolutely have to stay in prayer with Him and you don't know what's going to happen throughout the day. You don't know how it's going to go, but there is one, one person who does, and that's, that's God. He already knows your whole life. Mm. 
you know, life's going to continue to throw challenges. And regardless of every the suffering that we go through, which every human d deals with suffering, you didn't deal with the ultimate suffering. You know, Christ was the person of persons. He performed miracles. He made the blind see. He, you know, fed many people off very little to begin with. He was the best human to ever walk the face of the earth. And yet he, he was the one that, you know, endured the most suffering and, you know, died on a cross for every one of us. You think he deserved everything he got? No, he didn't. And he did that for each and every one of our sins. But I think the coolest thing about it is his resurrection. You know, there's hope. What Jesus means to me is, is uh, the way forward. The way forward is through him. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this film, you can find more like it by subscribing to our YouTube channel or by visiting our website at movingworks.org. You can also find additional resources like our small group discussion guides, all for free. Moving Works is 100% donor supported, so we can give all our work away in order to serve the global church. If you'd like to donate, visit movingworks.org. Thanks so much.